This is Tom Fox. Welcome to the Kerrville Weekly News for the week ending March 9, 2024. Andrew is on assignment, so I'm going to take a solo turn this week. We have several stories that caught my eye over the past week. Rather amazingly enough, with the April 8th total eclipse just uh, less than one month away, there are still spaces available in hotels, RV parks, and campsites. All of this information can be found on the Kerrville Eclipse website, www.kerrvilletexas.com/kerrvilleeclipse. As of Thursday, there were 11 locations in Kerrville and Ingram that still have rooms. If uh, in a um, somewhat bittersweet announcement, uh, Tyvee High School girls basketball coach and coordinator Christy Dill has announced that she is retiring from coaching and teaching at the end of the year. She's uh, obviously a well-loved and well-known in Kerrville, having served the Kerrville Independent School District, starting as an assistant coach before taking over the head coaching position in 2007. Uh, The Kerrville Art Club met uh, this past week and featured uh, a demonstration by local artist Nancy Huffman on her techniques for portraying animals in charcoal. Nancy emphasizes composition and value and sketched a rabbit and a ringtail cat while explaining the tools that she used. Also, uh, the painting by Cindy Payton entitled Ask a Local was... um, awarded the Artist of the Month Award. So check that out at the Kerrville Arts and Culture Center. Next up, on the Sires Lecture at Shriner University, scheduled for March 14th, this year we have Nina Cook, who will be presenting on Stepping Through the Looking Class, Interpolating the Subject in ver- Visual and Verbal Arts. She is going to talk about uh, drawings, Uh, and our uh, literature between 1760 and 1880. And her writing draws on connections between the visual arts and the development of novels in Britain. Her key concept is interpolation, a term that sees these artworks as essentially good at catching the audience's attention. And our final story is about registration is underway for the HCAF, or the Hill Country Art Foundation, Youth Artist Camp. It will start in June 10th. There's a full six weeks of art camp. The camp provides a curriculum of creative, process-based art education for children ages four and up. Young artists enjoy fun and exciting creative activities using a wide variety of media at the camp, empowering them to recognize the importance of art across cultures and in everyday living. The instructors are accomplished artists who are employed, employ innovative as well as traditional techniques to uh, inspire the students. So if you've got a young artist, uh, I hope you will uh, check out or have them perhaps check out the Hill Country Art Foundation's Youth Artist Camp going forward. And our final story is that the Kerrville Genealogical Society is dedicated to preserving the history and heritage of the uh, great state of Texas. And they will have an upcoming meeting March 2nd, and it will be a celebration of Texas History Month and a presentation on Gone to Texas, Researching Your Ancestors. Gone to Texas is a phrase that many of us know uh, that encompassed immigrants left on their cabin door uh, when they would come to Texas in the early to mid-1880s. So GTT, or Gone to Texas, is a well-known phrase. And if you're looking to figure find out more about your genealogy in Texas, this is for you. This is Tom Fox. I hope you enjoyed this edition of the Kerrville Weekly News Roundup. This podcast is a production of the Texas Hill Country Podcast Network. If you've enjoyed this podcast, I hope you will subscribe or rate and review this podcast wherever great podcasts are listened to. I hope you'll join Gilbert, Andrew, and myself next week where we take a look at some of the top stories from Kerrville and the surrounding Hill Country area. Thanks so much for listening.